What's up, YouTube? You know what it is, man. This is your boy, James to the O. Who saw that movie surviving Compton with the game? Not the Michelet one. I'm talking about the game. Surviving Compton. I don't know if it's a movie. I just say it's a documentary. He was narrating it. All that other stuff. I like the game. He's a good rapper. Good rap star. He did a couple of movies. Waist Deep. Tyrese and Megan Good. He played that role very well. I like his role. I said, man. I said, he was looking real gangst gangster. But yeah, what I think about watching his his little life story thing. Of course, there's good and bad to it all. I understand that you were brought up in the hood. But that don't mean you have to stay stuck in the hood. There's plenty of ways to get out the hood. And I guess most of those boys back then, their way out was through music. Which is cool. I inspire that. I have nothing against that. If they put out music, I'll listen to it. Especially if it's tight, dope, whatever. So he mentioned about some dude came to the came on a block. All the homies was locked up and loaded, ready to shoot. In case he do something stupid. But he was like, wait, 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 I'm not here for all that. I just hear everyone speak to the game. Yo, game. Dr. Dre heard your little mixtape, wherever, wherever it was. And he wants to see you at the studio. So do your homies and see a Compton like what you do? Yeah, because good. Because if they don't, we ain't effing with you either. But yeah, come on down, blah, blah. That right there, he signed with Aftermath. Documentary album, nice. I bought that album. The thing came out mid-January 2005. I bought it. And yes, it's better than The Massacre. I don't care what nobody say. Then he came out with Devil's Advocate. I bought that too. Drinking old English. That old English song is nice. He, he explained some of his life story. It's like, man, deep. He said, the day I took my, my brother's gun was the day that my brother got shot and killed over his Rolex watch. I guess the moment he, that, at this very moment, he knew he effed up. But yeah, that's sad though. But around Santana Block, Compton High, wearing all blue, but he didn't want to be on that side, so he was on the red side. Street life. I heard that. But what was most intriguing to me was when he said there was a knock at the door. Uh, and it was like, I think it was around like 2 in the morning maybe. He looked through the peephole like, oh, that's the food we sell weed to. Uh, he ain't no harm. Open the door. <laughs> Next thing you know, here come two others. <laughs> Coming in there, shot him up. Bah, bah, bah. He didn't die. He was in a coma for about nearly a week. Because he said in his uh, track song called Dream, that's on a documentary album. He said 2001, he woke up out the coma. And when he woke out the coma, he said, man, God was talking to me, blah, blah, blah. You're going to be a rapper. And since then, he became a rapper. I was like, what? He said, God was with you that day. Because otherwise, you wouldn't be here. That's just me. But, yeah, he was with him that day. And that, and that little inspiring moment was nice because since then, it skyrocketed. Whew. Then he mentioned a little situation story of he was parked the car or whatever, walking down the street. The homies was back there somewhere posted. These dudes came from the other side, started shooting. It was a shootout for like five minutes. Next thing you know, I had a bullet in my, bullet hole in my vehicle. In the back seat, it was a baby, it was a baby seat. And it pierced right through the part where his head would have been. Or his face would have been. This whole... He was like, whoa. I really gotta get out of here. Here's my thing. I wouldn't have been there. Once I became a star, man. Freight Compton. No offense. I gotta go. I got money to make. I got music to make. I got a good life to live. People look up to me. Yeah, I'll still rap that gangster stuff, but I'm not going to be in a gangster hood, though. That's just me. That's what I would have did if I was in the game. Freak that. I understand Compton is home. South Central Los Angeles is home for me, too. But at some point, it's like, ugh. It ain't really nothing here. 
just saying. There's more. I'm like, there's more to it in the world, in life, than just City of Compton, City of L.A. Just a thought. But yeah, I like that. Surviving Compton with the game. That was very inspirational part was something bad happened to him that almost cost his life to him being just this big time star. That's amazing. Now, if I was him, I wouldn't have signed with Gene Unit though. Freak that. Like, he's better than all of them. I want you to be a Gene Unit soldier. Hell no. I wouldn't have. No. I'm better than you and them other whack bums too. Oh, he got kicked out of Gene Unit. So what? Who cares? He's better than all of them. He don't need them. He's a better rapper than them and all that other stuff. Why would he care? If I was him, I wouldn't care either. But yeah. Then documentary two, the album came out, but this wasn't part of that documentary part, but that documentary two album is banging. I like it. Love it. Ooh, it's hot. Don't trip on me. Don't trip on me. Don't trip on me. Uh, that, that song is a jam. For those out of the album, you should know what I'm talking about. That album is fire. Then last thing I want to mention on that little documentary was when they mentioned Kendrick Lamar. That the, the female mayor, her mom was a politician wherever, and she got, I think she got raped and killed. Killed some kind of way. It was, it was effed up, though, but... That her death inspired a daughter to want to be what she was going to do, follow her footsteps. So she became the mayor of the city of Compton. She gave, she had a little placard with a little key to the city of Compton and reward that to Kendrick Lamar for his success as a rap star music person. Nice. I also saw one thing on Facebook with him shaking hands, giving that, hugging Barack Obama at the White House. I said, man, that is nice. And Barack Obama said his favorite rapper at that point was Kendrick Lamar. I like Kendrick Lamar. His album's nice too, Pimp a Butterfly. Cool. But yeah, that Surviving Compton with the game is pretty cool too. I'll, I'll watch it, it's pretty well worth it. And yeah, if I was him, I wouldn't be living in Compton. That is my fault, but who am I? Anyways, like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. Yeah, tell me if you saw it. And if you did, why don't you comment down below? And tell me how you liked it, or disliked it, or whatever. Yeah. Deuces.